A little bit of rain, eh? A little bit. That's a first. Ooh, Ooh, damn. Ladies and gents, it's officially time to announce the final list for the Freedom 500. We have some additional drivers. As you guys know, when I first announced the driver's list, we were missing a few. I'm excited to announce that Daddy Dave and Murder Nova from Street Outlaws have jumped on board to rip some Nitrous Crown Vicks with the rest of the crew as well as we have Kevin from KSR Performance and we have Nick from Side by Side Blog. So the final list is Nick from Side by Side Blog, Murder Nova, Daddy Dave, Kevin KSR, Travis Pastrana, Haley Deegan, Blake Wilkie, Alex Bowman, Tanner Faust, Vice Group Garage, Taylor Ray, Adam LZ, Chelsea Denofa, Ryan Turk, Whistling Diesel, Diesel Dave, Heavy D, Brent from PFI Speed, James and Cletus. So that is the final list for the Freedom 500 April 2nd. But I have some awesome news because Summit Racing Equipment, the sponsor of the Freedom 500, is now offering a deal where if you spend 75 bucks on Summit Racing and use promo code Cletus when you check out, you get free pay-per-view tickets. So, so instead of spending $14.95, Summit Racing will pay for your pay-per-view. You just spend 75 bucks on their website, type in code Cletus at checkout, and then a couple days later, they will email you your free tickets to watch the Freedom 500 and Cleats and Cars the next day. It's $14.95, you buy it from now up until the day before the events, but if you buy it the day of the event, it's $19.95. But still, it's both pay-per-views, so the Burnout Contest and the Crown Vic Race. And then the only other thing I have to talk about today, guys, is we have Cletus and Cars Houston one week away from now. We're already in Houston, which you're gonna see in today's video. But uh, that burnout contest is a week away. So if anyone wants to enter the burnout contest for Houston, we're actually going back to our normal burnout pad layout like we've done Houston all the time. All you have to do is email events at cletusmcfarland.com to enter the burnout contest for Cletus and Cars Houston in one week. The burnout contestants for Cletus and Cars Freedom Factory, which is two weeks, is insane. So Houston's gonna be awesome. And then we're back to Florida, Freedom 500, Cletus and Cars. It's all gonna be amazing, but guys, 75 bucks on Summit Racing. If you type in code Cletus, free pay-per-view tickets for the Freedom 500 and Cletus and Cars. So shout out to Summit for always coming up with cool ideas on how to sponsor our events and give back to you guys. I mean, I think it's a really cool deal because tons of you guys already buy car parts and spend over 75 bucks, you know, randomly buying things here and there. Now you just get free tickets on top of it. It's like a free 15 bucks. So thank you again to Summit Racing for sponsoring the Freedom 500. That's it, boys. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fallen YouTube channel. All right, guys. The boys are parking up their trucks. Nate, Dr. Tune them all. Even is going with us. So we will have tuning on hand, dude. He's been doing a great job tuning. But uh, the toter and the trailer is packed up. Let's go look inside. A little chilly out here this morning. She's got some dew on her. I see her aired up, you know, it's kind of squatting with no air in the bags. This thing is fully packed to the brim. But uh feel really good about the way we packed it. I don't think we're gonna get any scratches, or anything like that. That would, you know, kind of suck. Brand new trailer. We gotta take really good care of it if possible. But uh as you guys know, this is a work tool, so things will happen to this and things will happen to this. It's part of life. Just gotta remember that but uh we'll have 10 gallons of fire aid accessible to uh hopefully not have to put out any fires but we have it and then this trailer is actually getting equipped with its own fire system but uh it didn't come in in time to put it on before the trip ready doug ready to go big rigging dude i know man <laughs> i'm so pumped pumped to hit the first truck stop fill it up that'll feel awesome <laughs> We got her. Trailer's hooked. We're going. All right, boys. We only got a thousand and eight miles to go. Piece of cake. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> okay, guys. We made it ten miles, and uh, and we're already out of gas. Burns fast. Dude. It was full, dude. <laughs> so we're gonna. Uh, this is the first fuel up. We're on E. So let's give us a good idea of you know how many gallons are left to E. It's a hundred gallons. Uh, so let's get her topped off and see how much it costs. Three thirty-five a gallon here. Oof. All good back here, dude. All good and tight. All right. We only went ten miles, but <laughs> no, have a scratch on it yet. 
It's good. I mean, you can't really tell from here, can you? Oh, we're good. Nothing's moving. I ain't nothing moving in this rig. All right, boys. 280 bucks first fill up. I see. Damn. Hey, for those of you who remember, the C7 blew up right over there. Remember when I had to push in the trailer with Spencer? That's where we were when the C7 blew up. But first fill up done. I like this thing. It's got this little magnetic cover. Pops right in. Done. Let's roll. All right, folks. Here we go. We're turning on to I-10. And we're knocked out about knocked out about 300 miles. No wait, 200. Frick. <laughs> yeah, about 220. It's going good though. It's going great. I probably shouldn't be filming and taking this turn, but uh, you know everything's going good, guys. Just a little update here on the road. Are we going west or east, James? Uh, or west. We're going west. Yeah. Looking good, folks. Everything's freaking primed. The uh, toter's holding temp perfect. Trailer's towing like amazing. I just, lot to describe here while I take this turn. So uh, we're on I-10, this is the long haul. It'll actually probably say, oh yeah, our next turn is in 445 miles. So and here we go. Yeah, just up the street, we turn it again. Just up the just, road. Just up the street here, we'll take a turn. Well, <laughs> piece of cake. One of my absolute favorite things about the toter home uh, compared to the old motorhome is that it has this radar right there, see the bottom left, that tells you your distance behind somebody. And uh, it's set at 400 feet, so that, that person just merged in front of us. And uh, it doesn't brake check you or anything. You know, there's already been a couple times where traffic has been stopping in front of us, and the toter has caught it before I have. You know, it's really impressive technology. Guys, we found the boost gauge. Ready for this? She's floored. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 32 PSI. That's as much as boost Leroy runs. God dang. How do we get it to 80? Alrighty, guys. We made it about 500 miles. And uh, low fuel light just came on. So we are going to pop off at the first truck stop. We see up here there's a couple coming up. Uh, there's a big boy bridge. It's getting a little weird. I think we're going to run into some weather up here. Uh, we heard that. We heard that Houston got hit with some weather and it was heading east, so we might be running right into it. Gosh dang, best state on the planet, in the country. I love you, Florida. We'll be back. All right. Alabama man now. Damn, this bridge is looking tough, dude. Come on, Alabama. Now the roads are gonna turn up a notch, dude. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Here we go. They started off right for us. Sweet home Alabama. Have my regrets here. I chose gas station. Might have been a little far. We got 20 miles to go. I think we're going to make it. Why did I floor it so much earlier? The regret is set again. You think we got it? I don't know, mister. Let's see how the boost goes. <laughs> Dude, I know my truck. James, what do you think? We got it? I know you know your truck running out of gas. <laughs> Dude, I know my truck. You guys leave me alone. Y'all ever seen a toter get pushed by a Nova? <laughs> yeah. We made it to Love's Travel Stop. 540 miles on one tank of fuel. So that's over double what the RV can do, but we're like resting on the E-needle. So probably not going to send her that far. Maybe stop at 450 miles in the future. But here we are, now we know. And uh, we're gonna check straps, check the whole unit over. We'll park up, start getting some fuel, and go over the whole rig. I know my truck. All right, get some rest, baby. Get some rest. How was it back there? 
this comfort. Way comfortable. Really? Easy ride? Easy. I mean, you're sitting on a couch, dude. Yeah. You get <laughs> some work done? Way to ride. Oh, yeah. Nice and stable back here, dude. Not bad at all. Uh, all right. Ah, uh, a little dirtied up. Yeah. All right. Dirty. Look at the top. Man. All good though. All good. All freaking good, folks. Fire me up. Let me check the slide. Might have creeped out a little bit. Tires all looking good. Of course, we got tire pressures in the cab, so we can check all those. Trailer's looking good. Nothing new. Nothing sketchy. Nothing looks visibly out of place. Feeling good. Feeling good. How's it look, Doug? It looks solid in there. Nothing moved. Dude, nothing nothing moved. Oh my gosh. Yep, the Nova's still up there. I think we're good. Maybe just drop the tailgate and check, but I yeah. think uh, we're in really good shape, guys. Damn, hell yeah. Dude. This whole combo with uh, Stanley the Stacker and the Toter is just insane. So stable, so like smooth. Amazing. This thing is so sexy. So sick. Thank you guys. This is you guys, dude. You guys make this stuff happen. Every time I see this truck, I'm like, holy crap. That's our freaking truck. It's insane. Uh, feels a little cheaper here in Alabama. We gotta put DEF into rally a quarter tank of death, so got to top that off as well. Unfortunately, guys, I didn't video it because I started adding the def, but we ended up using 93 gallons. So we had about seven left, dude. Could have kept going. 93 gallons in one rip. That is so sick. What a unit. On the road again. On the road again. Westbound and down. <laughs> Take the exit. Ah, west, that's you. I love it. I love looking at it in the mirror. Here we go. What a beast. No more resetting the miles and calculating the gallons like we did Monica. The gauge actually works. The gauge works all the way to the E mark. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. Never seen such technology. On up, <laughs> on up. There you go, tenth gear. All right, James is taking a shift. Let's do it. Coming off my shift, testing out the back. Look at this. We got a little window. Turn my little light on. Dude, this is a life back here at the bunk bed. I can actually go head to toe. It's pretty good. What a ripper, dude. As we got a bridge coming up, it's pretty cool watching the air ride seats do their thing. Watch this. Oh, I'm bouncing too. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but the air ride seats move independently of the truck and it's really kind of a weird thing to watch from back here. Yeah. How are you guys doing up there? It's like riding on a cloud. A little bit of rain, eh? A little bit. That's the first. Ooh, Woo! damn. All right. A little storm for the stacker. Get it washed before we show up. All right. So James has knocked out 400 miles. We're pulling up to ooh, dirty lens. All right. So James has knocked out a clean 400 miles, and we are pulling up to get some more fuel. Yeah, we got 49 miles to Houston Raceway. So we're gonna top off. So we've got enough fuel for the generator to run all weekend. She's feeling right, burning right, dude. She is burning right. What a unit we have on our hands. Here. I know, dude. Fire me up. Dude, these front seats are a fun ride up here. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Had to get out to get a clean shot of the unit pulling in. Fire me up. So sick. Let's go. We're in Baytown. What a rig, dude! Hell yeah! Because James waking up all the sleeping trucks. Ah, it's only 10 p.m. Nice. Perfecto. We are officially in Baytown. Let's get some fuel. Everything's on. 
Nova hasn't moved. Leroy hasn't moved. Yes, we're good. Packed her right, then. <laughs> tell you what. Dad packed it. How'd it feel? Get your first yeah. big run on her. Honestly, I could probably do two of those back to back. That was not bad at all. I know. Not dude. even nearly as tired as I would be from after driving Monica. Just, it's, Monica, you're fighting the whole time. This thing, you're just like comfortable as can be. She just goes. Yeah, this thing is an absolute hit. Doing it. Three dollars flat a gallon here in Texas. Two hundred bucks. 70 gallons, not bad. All right, guys, only a half hour out. Ruby, Ruby's good, she's fine. That's it, folks. All them lights. What are, what's our time? What do we call it, 14 hours? Yeah, 14 hours in, about to pull in the gate. One truck stop necessary, second one to fill, you know, for probably two necessary. So we got a full tank we're pulling in 14 hours later. Normally it's an 18 plus hour trip for us, but uh, this, this went really fast. So we're gonna pull in here, hopefully find a good parking spot. In one um, mile, we're supposed to have a reserved spot, but I don't know if they're letting us in. Uh -oh. Why are you pulled over, dude? Unbelievable. Dude, made it the whole way. Okay, they're not letting us park tonight. At about seven o'clock in the morning, they'll let you in here to park here. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay, here we go, blind reversing into the road. Tough break. Well, we made it. Chase it around. Chase, chase her tail. This maneuver, impossible in Monica. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have, we didn't have it's reverse on the RV. <laughs> I mean, we did for emergencies, but. Nice job, man. We did it. All right, well, we didn't make it in time, so we're gonna be parking out here tonight. And they're gonna pull, let us pull in in the morning. 7 a.m. All right, guys, we found our spot to rest for the night. We're officially at the track. We turned on all the lights because you know you can't just turn on one. James, end it off. You know the deal.